Hi, I'm Infernum, and this is my recap for the anime Bye Bye Earth. If you like my recaps, please subscribe. The story is about Belle, who feels like an outsider as the only person in the world of beast people. Belle embarks on a journey, burning with the desire to discover where she comes from and to find answers to the questions in her heart with nothing but a huge sword she found in her childhood. At Lake Chaser, beast people have gathered, puzzled about why so many of them have assembled. One of the scholars explained that a monster had appeared in the lake which releases its soul flowers, and even the local warriors were unable to defeat the monster. Therefore, the Supreme Rats decided to turn to the highest warrior, Namadu. However, instead of Namadu himself, a maiden who lived with him was sent. The maiden arrived with a huge sword and noticed that there were too many onlookers discussing her, saying she had no ears or even fur, calling her faceless and very strange. The girl stated that she had come here on Namadu's orders. The rats thanked her and Belle asked where the monster was. The rats pointed it out and said it was very sturdy and no weapon could penetrate it. Belle said she would handle it since it was a treat for her. She removed her sword and outer clothing. The rats asked what she was doing, to which Belle replied that she was simply increasing her agility. She ran towards the monster, across the water, and as soon as she reached it, the monster attacked her and drew her inside. However, Belle easily escaped and even managed to inflict damage on it. She removed the binding from her sword and said that the exit for her sword had finally arrived, looking at the monster. She decided to attack it and the battle began. The monster didn't give Belle a moment's rest, with attacks coming from all directions. Belle decided to activate her sword and after a kiss, the sword ignited with a red glow. Belle resumed attacking the monster, pressing it hard and eventually landed a critical blow noting that it smelled of salt. The monster's blood began to spray everywhere, but it was not blood, it was salt. The monster grabbed Belle, and she asked how it had ended up in these parts. The monster replied that it wanted to return to the sea and that it would never return. It wished to die here and asked Belle to scatter its seeds. Belle apologized and delivered the final blow, which ultimately destroyed the monster. Belle took one of the seeds with her, and back in the city, everyone began thanking her and her reward would be delivered to her home. Belle asked if she could take the seeds and a tentacle with her. The rats asked why she needed them. Belle replied that they were a treat for her and she decided to return home. On the way home, she dropped the seeds she had taken because if she had left them, the beast people would not have left them alone. Belle returned home late at night and saw her mentor trying to light the fireplace with stones. Belle looked at him, not understanding why he was making things difficult when he could simply use magic. The mentor lit the fire and Belle showed him her trophy. The mentor said that the technique was good and the cut was clean, but he noticed that she hadn't used her full strength and advised her to apply full force. Belle decided to prepare dinner. She noticed that her mentor had put a lot of sauce on the food and Belle didn't like it. She thought that her mentor didn't appreciate her cooking and that he was overpowering the taste of her meal. However, he said it wasn't the case. Belle decided to ask why the monster had ended up in the lake. Her mentor replied that it was her destiny to be there and to leave her flowers behind. After finishing his meal, the mentor returned to his chair and began smoking. Belle saw this and smiled. After a while, the mentor noticed Belle and she started to talk about how she was viewed unfavorably in the village. She suggested that the mentor should go there himself to sort things out. The mentor said that he wouldn't teach them any lesson. Belle responded that he always said that and that his strength was needed only for teaching. The mentor mentioned that there were still many places Belle had not seen, and Belle asked if there were others like her. She felt very lonely in this world. The mentor replied that there was no one like Belle wherever he had been. Belle said she felt as though she didn't belong in this world and couldn't remain alone forever. The mentor told her that she was merely nostalgic, and if Belle wanted to get rid of it, she could try going on a journey. Images of her potential journey flashed before Belle's eyes, and the mentor told her that if she wanted to go on a journey, she would need to go to the garden and pass the Namadu exam. He believed in her, as she was his best student. Belle returned to her room and pondered her mentor's words. She realized that she couldn't live like this forever and wanted to find her relatives and others like her. As she turned off the light, she noticed that her sword was glowing. She touched it and immediately remembered her first encounter with the sword how it appeared out of nowhere, and everyone around her started discussing how she was different from everyone else in the world. Children began to mock her, and Belle pushed one of them away and ran towards the city. Before her stood a huge castle, which drew her in irresistibly. 
She sneaked into the castle and entered a room where a massive sword was sealed. She felt that this sword was calling to her and touched it. Suddenly, the seal was lifted and Belle declared that it was now her friend. She took the sword and ran from the castle into the streets. Under the enormous moon, her sword awakened, but suddenly a guard appeared and attacked Belle. The sword decided to protect its master, activating and helping Belle get past the guard. However, a stronger guard appeared and managed to defeat Belle. He asked why she had stolen the sword. Belle replied that she had stolen it because the sword was her friend. Belle and the sword were then taken to a cell where she was held. Belle woke up, hugging her sword, and told it that it understood everything. She then fell back asleep. In the morning, the rats came to Namadu's home to thank him again for killing the monster and to deliver the reward. When they saw Belle, they were frightened and ran away. The mentor closed the door and said that now they could live a month without worries. However, he noticed a change in Belle's expression as she said that she had finally decided and wanted to take the Namadu exam. The mentor asked her if she was absolutely sure. If so, Belle would need to bring their swords. Belle brought their swords, and the mentor said that he would now teach her the final lesson. To become a Namadu, one must subject their body to a curse, which will accompany them for their entire life. The curse is imposed through a blood oath. Belle said she was ready, and she and the mentor activated the blood oath. The mentor asked her what her purpose was in undertaking the journey. Belle replied that she wanted to find her kin and also wanted to belong to this world. Their hands parted and the mentor told her to accept her curse, which would be crowned with a blessing. Belle noticed that the mentor was starting to fade away. He said this meant that the lesson was learned and this was the last lesson for her. He told Belle to finish him off and that she would be able to rid herself of the pain. He told Belle to gather herself and do it, recalling the past when he had been with her in prison with the sword. The mentor had become her family and said he would teach her how to use the sword. Belle didn't understand why he was doing this, since he was family to her, but the mentor said that one day she would understand the curse of Ivan. Engraved on Belle's sword was the word Utopia, which had lost its meaning, but Belle would find it. Belle said that she loved him, and the mentor said that she could find a better man, mentioning that she was like a daughter to him. They began the Namadu trial, and in the end, Belle was able to pass it.